and it's gone. He liked the first pitch he saw and deposits it over the wall. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year, and the A's are on the board first, one to nothing. Kind of a gift in location. And this is the wrong guy to be given gifts to. I mean, you see the location on show track, way too much of the plate there. You're not going to get away with that too many times. That, that's for sure. Stepping in now, Reggie Jackson. As he'll take a first pitch curveball right down the middle for strike one. That average for him up in the 360s now. Four home runs, 18 driven in. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Pitch on the way. Grounded to third. Throw on to first, two gone. Claude Washington will stand in for the first time now, and he'll do so as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. First pitch on the way. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Here it comes. And this is fouled back and out of play. And the pitch. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. But the A's hit the board first on this solo home run. On to the bottom of the first to target field. It's now 1-0 in favor of the A's. Jerry Terrell will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And now pitch on the way. Ball hit pretty well out toward left center. Mason will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. You know, that's the thing with throwing a fastball as hard as he does. It makes fly balls travel that much farther off the bat. And this thing gets out there a long ways before it finally gets tracked down. Lionel Boston will stand in now as he was reinserted back into the lineup here after taking a needed day off yesterday. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and and Eric, you take a look at our visitors here with the early lead tonight as we play the bottom of the first. They've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. And on top of that, they've already spotted their starter an early lead in this one, so they're going to let their guy work with the lead right away. Another 1-2 delivery. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Larry High will get his first opportunity now. Looking to extend that hitting streak which stands at eight games and counting coming in. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so would the guy on the mound. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called. And the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Sal Bacco will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. First pitch of the inning here is wrapped right back from where it came, and that'll get into center field for a leadoff single. A good job here. He stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots this ball right back up the middle. Now here's the first pitch. Billy Williams stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. A runner at first with no outs here. 
He waits. Now the pitch. Taken for strike three. The throw. It's high, but he's able to come down with it to make the play. It's a strike him out, throw him out, double play. Phil Garner will stand in for the first time now. Currently seventh in the American League in hitting. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Nothing doing there for the A's. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Rod Carew will dig in now, and he's probably been the toughest out on the ball club of late as you see the sizzling numbers there in these last nine games. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. First pitch coming. And this will be fouled Steve away. Ryan. One out, nobody on. In there, and it's 0-2 now. He's found a pretty nice rhythm out here early on. May get four strikeouts in a row as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Johnny Briggs will get his first opportunity here. And as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Now here's the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now here it comes. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Ray Fossum is ready to go here as we begin the third. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Now the pitch. And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove. Moves it to 0-2 now. Now the pitch. And they tie him up in proverbial knots there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Jim Mason will stand in, and he's been tearing the cover off the ball the past few days, as you see his numbers from the last five ball games. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. You talk about tying a guy up. My goodness. On the ground towards second. Throw in time at first for route number two. Bert Campanella will dig in for a second time. A strikeout victim opening up the ball game. Got him reaching for the first pitch as this is pushed foul off to the right. 0-1. And the pitch. Ah, not the greatest at bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing in two now. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Here's another 0-2. And this is swung on and missed, though he will need to do a little housekeeping at first. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at 2-3, and the inning is over. Number 12 will come forward to begin the inning. 7-8-9 to start the home third. And they're still searching for a base runner. It's been six up, six down to start the game. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. And now a pitch on the way. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now another 0-2. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first is in time for the first out. And as we showed you in the open, he's out there putting his perfect record on the line. And so far, these guys haven't shown many signs that they're ready to put out one in that loss call. Glenn Bowman comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. One thing you can say with certainty, he's really tried to take some ownage on that inside part of the plate. It's something that you need to learn as a young pitcher. You've got to have that willingness to work inside, or guys at this level will just lean out over the plate and eat you up. Campanella takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. 
And one thing this kid's going to find out is that everything speeds up at the major league level. You know, those pitches that you were on top of in AAA, they have a tendency to get on top of you much quicker now. you, you got to learn to adjust. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? And sorry to interrupt, but the play has been made for the third out, inning over. Joe Rudy will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now, here's the first pitch. Joe Rudy. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Pitch on the way. Hit hard towards the hole. And that is through into right field for a single. The right fielder, number Reggie nine. Jackson Reggie will stand in. Jackson. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. He's ready. Now the pitch. On the ground is short. This could be two to second for one. On to first, a double play. Claude Washington will come on now. And no sooner did it look like they may have something started than the double play took it all away. And that's especially tough when you figure the part of the lineup they're in. These are the guys you want to have hitting with runners on base. One run on three hits and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Now here's the pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. A's go quietly there, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Jerry Terrell will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ballgame. And still looking for their first base runner, too. 9-0, nine 9-0. Oh, nine Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Lionel Boston will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Here's the pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Well, he's had a lot of guys swinging at pitches out of the strike zone early on, so it's a great idea to go ahead and bounce one there on 0 and 2. Hit hard, but fouled off to the left, and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. Again, a 1 2. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here's another 1 2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Man, and not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. Oh, and he misses it. And he'll round it and try for third. Oh, and he runs right through the stop sign. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound matters even further. Rod Carew will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. Jackson retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief 
as the side is retired. Sal Vaco will step in now to lead off the inning. 